Hi everyone, it's uh, Johnny Seed here. Uh, something a bit different. This uh, video was inspired by the excellent YouTube channel called Retail Archaeology. Um, if you are not aware of that, I suggest you go check it out. He does videos about shops that are going out of business, amongst lots of other things. And so I was passing a Maplins the other day and uh, I'd heard that they were about to close down so I thought I'd pop in and have a look before it was too late. Now this is the sort of thing that Maplins are probably most known for, so electronic components. And uh, when they go out of business, I'm not entirely sure where you'd go to buy this sort of stuff. I'm uh, guessing one of the reasons why they have gone out of business is that a lot of their customers are probably buying stuff online. But if you're not super tech savvy and you've got a broken thing and you know what it looks like but not sure what it does, uh, Maplins sort of place you go in and and buy a new one <laughs> by identifying it and actually speaking to a human. So these shops remind me of the Tandy shops I used to get years ago. It used to sell all bits and bobs of an electronic nature. <laughs> but yeah, we have some of these mini turntables here the uh, with the uh, Bluetooth enabled. I'm a bit dubious about them. I'm not sure what kind of quality they are. If you've got one of those, let me know. If they're any good, uh, these were on sale. Uh, 80 quid, worth it? Do they still need an amp? Are they going to destroy your records? So I think part of the problem that Maplins have was just some of their prices, uh, especially when you look here at this consumable media. Um, DVC cassettes, digital video cassettes. Oh, interesting. Oh uh, yeah, the, when was the last time any of us burned a DVD? So stack their 25 blank DVDs for £12. I had a quick look online. You can buy the same ones for £6 elsewhere. So they weren't really uh, moving with the times as far as prices go, I don't think. couple of drones. The prices though. A parrot Bebop, 600 quid. And the Phantom. <laughs> Didn't realise how expensive they were. Thousand pounds for a Phantom. They still have lots of fans. Cables galore. I think this is probably the only things I've bought from the Maplins in the last 10 years or so has been audio connectors and uh, cables, etc. And they're still selling scout leads, I can see. And there was a few empty shelves already. Even reels of cable. So down there, walkie talkie. Uh, Eighty quid for a Microsoft Office. Hmm. I 
Oh yeah, this is the sort of electronic stuff that you'd probably be struggling to find elsewhere nowadays. Different sorts of wires. And some remote control toys. Desktop football. I think some of these will build your own kind of kits. A mini telescope. I'm not entirely sure how long these shops have got left to go. You can get yourself a disco ball. One of the things I was going to buy, and I did ask them if they had it, was some isopropyl alcohol uh, for an upcoming project, but they didn't sell it. Man, I could do some new headphones as well. Right, so this was my trip around the Maplins in Liverpool city centre. Uh, may or not still be there by the time you're watching this. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching.